Welcome to Wasian, Ohio. Located just 40 minutes southwest of Toledo, Ohio, Wasian boasts a population of just over 7,000 people. One of those people is this guy. Meet Ron McCants. Ron is the owner-operator of this place, the McCants Cabin, and the host of the McCants Cabin Concerts. Well, in most of our hootenannies, we had three every year, and we stopped two of them, the spring and summer, and just went with the fall, because it was too much work. We've had bands of every genre, uh, mostly bluegrass and country, but most of these musicians can play 50s, 60s rock. You know, they can play any style of music, but we kept it mostly country and folk. Um, and we've had five bands jamming at any one time here at, in the August Hoot Nannies. Outdoors, maybe three, three bands outdoors, two bands in here. Um, all acoustic music. That's what we've been doing. Then up in the ballroom we have electric. So we've had rock and roll, we've had blues, we've had country, bluegrass. We've had all four types of music. It was an inspiration. My son called me on a Sunday afternoon and said, Dad, I found this property out around Wauseon, Ohio. And the guy was just driving the for sale sign today out on the road. And I asked him about it and he said, you got to come out and see this place. My son, Brian. So we drove out on a Sunday afternoon, my wife and I. There was no lane where you just came down that driving in. That was all field. So we walked it and the guy said uh, it was a gun hunting club, a uh, skeet shooting club for 50 years, this whole property here, about 45 acres. So we walked it and the minute I walked by the pines, I said, those are the pines we're gonna build a log home. So over the next 10 years, Ron and his wife built the cabin from the ground up. But being avid music fans, it wasn't just a place to live. And then we had a musical events, hoot nannies, and different musicians in three times a year. And uh, we ran out of room. So I built the ballroom on, the garage and the ballroom. And that took another five years. And we've been here 19 years now. We see 50 to 70 people every event. We have one a month through the summer months, April through November. Then in the winter we stop them because of too much snow in the lane and we can't clear snow to bring people in and run out of parking. It can seat 90, you know, with a few people maybe standing, but we have seated 90 before. Um, and they come and go, you know, they're, in, they're out on the deck. And, I feel tears welling up, going deep inside, like my heart's from a big break. And the step of loneliness, sharp and painful, that I may never shake. You might say that I was taking it hard since you broke me up with a call. But don't you wager that I'll hide the song. Level for musicians. We really built this uh, to be creative and to feel creative while you're up here. So it was the overflow for ho hoot nannies when we had bad weather. We just bring people inside and keep on picking and singing. And, um, this is all leftover logs, number one. And we did all the framing well insulated, and I heat this with a um, corn pellet stove. One day I 
adventured in love, never once suspected what the final reason. Tonight's Hoot Nanny marks the last concert of the year here at McCann's Cabin. But rest assured, Ron will be ready next season to welcome bands and fans back to his hand built, humble abode. Everything up here was, uh, most of this stuff was given to me by friends. People come to the Hoot Nannies and they would say, hey Ron, we brought you something. <laughs> so these, this, these are all gifts, whatever you're looking at around here. It's just things that I've collected or people brought and gave to me. And I found a place for it. And it looks a little cluttered, but I'm comfortable. Thank you.